Suit filed against the U.S. Department of Education in federal court today seeks funds that were once promised to New York charter schools, but not delivered. News 12's Dan Serafin has this story. Eight charter schools in all, four of them here in the Bronx, filing suit against the United States Department of Education. They say almost $1 million in charter school program funding was awarded to them, then taken away. So today, our families and our schools are standing up for kids. Congress member Richie Torres joined administration and parents from two of those city charter schools at a press conference at Zeta Charter Schools South Bronx campus. Instead of supporting these eight schools in a moment of recovery, uh, the U.S. Department of Education has chosen to sabotage them. This is not a charter school issue. It's an issue of equity. And it's a glaring example of our schools and our students getting caught up in the wheels of bureaucracy. The promised funds were budgeted for, according to Kim, who added that the need for the money grew as her school returned to in-person learning. While we were hard at work reopening our doors to in-person learning, the federal charter school program grant funds that our schools had been drawing down on had been suddenly stopped. We are tired of government disregarding the communities we serve, which were amongst the hardest hit during COVID and which are amongst the least resourced in the nation. Parents who spoke today also wondering why these funds were taken away. I take the U.S. Department of Education's decision to deprive Zeta of its grant funding very personally. This funding could be going to critical resources for Zeta students, including Ethan and Ava. I do not understand why the Department of Education is taking away resources from my community's children. In Mott Haven, Dan Serafin, News 12. Dan, thank you. We did reach out to the U.S. Department of Education for a comment on this lawsuit. We'll let you know when we hear back.